Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Look, this activity is a little bit different. It doesn't have any distinct curriculum links, but really what I wanted to do is show um, different ways that we can develop creative uh, creativity and creative thinking. And one of the things that we've actually been doing a lot, um, hopefully at iPad Monthly, is actually uh, showing kind of these thinking routines and different things that maybe we can apply across the curriculum. So what we're going to do here is a really simple context. We're going to use the assembly app, which is free. Now, it's a little bit jumpy on my AirPlay, so if it just cuts in and out, I, I do apologize for that. And what we're just going to do is give our, our students a task of representing the sun um, in different ways. So getting them to kind of um, develop that divergent, divergent thinking kind of routine where they can look at multiple ways of representing the sun. So let's see how we go here. So I'm just using some different shapes. Um, let's bring in this one here. Let's go to styles and just give it a different color. And they can be thinking about why they're using that color. And then we might bring in another shape here and just bring in uh, maybe something like this and actually put a different style on that. Let's go with that kind of color. Let's just go with an orange. And I might just rotate it a little bit and then just move it to the outside a little bit. And I might do that. Um, what we can actually do is actually copy that. So I might copy that, bring that over here, um, giving them some skills as well. So you can see kind of what I'm doing here. And I'll copy a little bit more and just do uh, kind of four quadrants here and take up too much time so that you can actually see what I'm doing. And basically all we're doing there is just looking at how we can actually represent the sun in different ways. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get that middle one, get that a little bit smaller so we can kind of bring that in a little bit here. Um, tap on that. Really easy to use the assembly app. And what we'll show you is just how we can transport that. So what we're actually doing, that's a little bit off, isn't it? Move that over a little bit. We can start to use our grids a little bit more. So that could be another representation of um, the sun that we're actually kind of dealing with. And what we can get the kids to do then is just talk about the different representations, um, talking about there's no right or wrong answers that we can actually uh, kind of use icons and we can use um, different symbolism to actually do it. We might actually export that as a PNG with a transparent background and save that image. And what you can then do is just get your students to actually jump into something. Let's go with uh, Book Creator, one of our favorites and actually just bring in those different elements. And all of a sudden, we're kind of looking at different representations of the sun that we could use in different ways. Now, this is not just about art and the arts and artistic ability. What we're trying to teach our kids is there's different ways of looking at things. There's no, not necessarily a right answer that it could be multi, multiple different answers for this. And so visually representing um, different elements, say the sun or the earth or water, we can start to really encourage that looking beyond that first thing that we see. So that first thing that we see as a representation of the sun in books, in the media, we can actually say, hang on, we can actually look beyond that. We can actually think a little bit differently, which is one of these skills that we're trying to promote in schools at the moment, which is looking at different aspects in different ways. And so representing something like the sun and getting students to really explore what's in their head and in their imagination and extracting that out onto the screen, we can actually develop um, and I guess foster that creative thinking ability and, and divergent thinking ability where we can look at multiple ways of seeing something, um, not just problems, but actually seeing just things in general. And, and I think that's really beneficial. So I hope you found that interesting. It's just a really quick, easy task to get kids developing that creative thinking and that divergent thinking kind of aspect of um, thinking dispositions. Paul Hamilton here signing off.